This is Over the Ride, a transitional area of Cincinnati. It has become a popular place to be, especially because of the recent updates around Family Market and Washington Park. But what you see isn't always what you get. This is Family Market. When I started here back in the late 80s, this was a grocery store. I've had been for years. People came here for grocery shopping. Better meat, better food, better produce. And they had people living here. Now it's more of a tourist attraction. And until that changes, then... Just listen to their stories. When I was coming up, you know, we was like, we would come at Forest Washington Park, and the Manu Center was across the street. Back then, it was kind of hard because everybody was fighting everybody, throwing bottles and bricks at each other and all that stuff. I've already seen uh, the changes as far as uh, the drug dealers and people getting shot. And you know, a lot of the, the activities that go on down here that don't normally go on in other neighborhoods as as busy as this one. I think people feel, you know, threatened, you know, when they're walking into like a poverty stricken area where there's broken windows, you know, cars that don't run, look like they've been parked for months, you know, you usually want to shy away from that. Um, you know, a lot of the places are either condemned or just um, in bad condition. Like there's not a lot of schools. Not a lot of parks. Um, kids start, can't really play around safely. Okay, so you play down here for money. Mm -hmm. My grandma like likes to watch me play down here. You know, because I was a little kid with a whole bunch of money. You know, kind of prone to somebody coming up and snatching the case. It happened to my friends, but not me. He was playing the guitar down here, and apparently some guy just scooped it up and just ran. Well, yeah, it did actually used to be uh, real terrible around here, like during the riots and stuff. You know, uh, that was a bad situation for the city and this community. Okay, like I'll be 62 next year, and they don't hire nobody really. When you get in your 60s, it's hard to get a job. I put in for a job up here on the market, and that was over four years ago almost. Well, it, you know, there used to be a lot of like uh, people stealing stuff at the market and all this other stuff, and um, I think that kind of goes with the like lower class, seeing like homeless people around here and stuff like that. I just moved out of Over the Rhine approximately, I would say maybe four years ago, four to five years ago. It was a lot cheaper for me to move to this newer place where I was at. Uh, it was a lot like cheaper economically wise for me. But why is it cheaper to move out of the cheapest place in Cincinnati? Okay, are you familiar with the term gentrification? Mm -hmm. Oh, have you ever heard the term gentrification? Uh, what is it? Gentrification. It's far away right now, but... Have you heard the term gentrification? No, ma'am. Uh, you know, I don't know the, the exact definition, but basically bringing in, you know, uh, uh, a, a different class to a somewhat uh, poor neighborhood. It means, um, it's... It's sort of the, the pushing out of like a socioeconomic class that has always been an area by uh, development and by a higher class and uh, I think there are a lot of cultural and racial implications of it too. Gentrification? Yeah. yeah. Cap, can you tell me what that is? Yeah. Where they come in and they change the neighborhood. Gentrification, the buying and renovation of houses and stores in deteriorated urban neighborhoods by upper or middle income people, thus improving property values but often displacing low income families and small businesses. So what does this mean for Over the Rhine? Do you see that, you know, you're putting money into infrastructures that would otherwise just sit there vacant? So, you know, it's hard to say, but um, I think, you know, making a, a an environment, especially in your community, you know, a place where, where everyone feels comfortable, you know, I think that is, is a plus. This is a fan community and uh, it's a good place to raise your kids and come down and shop at Philly Market and uh, it's just a nice place to come down and, and, and visit if you're not from down here.
Cost like it's more money in the community now. And then you like uh, um, some, uh, they gave me, they're giving the city a, a whole new outlook. You know, people appreciate more now. Plus, you're a little safer. With your gentrification, it, it sounds as though that is a, a good thing. It's a positive for the neighborhood. I mean, I'm kind of on both sides of it because I can understand why they're doing it. You know, it kind of breaks it up, you know, the con crime rate. But at the same time, like, it's going to go somewhere else, you know. Like, I feel like every, every like, neighborhood has their peak of when, like, they want to be the stuff. Like, one point, Avondale was, like, a really nice place to live at. But now, that's not the case anymore, you know. It's just levels to everything. The way it's being done right now is, is uh, sort of a bad thing. I think development... Development overall, I mean, you can't stop development, but I think it could be done a lot better. It could be done through, uh, it could be done like with more community involvement and like, um, you know, the, the folks that live here right now that are being pushed out, I think they could, they could be worked with a little more to have, um, to like feel more of an attachment to the community and not feel like they're being invaded and being, because um, right now it's like the rug's being pulled out from under them, you know, and so I think, um, a little more social activism is necessary for it to be a sustainable development. It's not being done right. It's not, this is being mass renovation. Clear the board, let's do it, let's reestablish this. This isn't where a couple of people decide we need to change it and then it, one by one it moves up. Whenever you have that, mass change and we'll run into some problems. Things you haven't thought about. Well, yeah, I would say it's a bad thing because, you know, if you put one person out to make room for another person, where's this one person supposed to go? They has to have been torn down and rehabilitated for somebody that can spend more money to come in. I mean, you know, they, they fixing it up. That's fine. Everybody want to see a beautiful neighborhood. Everybody want to see a safe, clean neighborhood. But at the same time, if you're moving people out and moving other people in, the people that's moving out, where are they supposed to go? So I think that, you know, these investors are trying to gain on the investment, you know. And if it means kicking certain people out, I guess that's what they have to do. It's a bad thing because families are being displaced and they have to move, which is not their choice. But, you know, the poor people are always being hit on. They're, they're, nobody cares about the poor. They're looking for the, um, the wealthy. Whatever, whoever makes the most money is what matters. It's not really people-oriented anymore in this culture. It's whoever can make the big money and where the money is. And the poor people don't enter in that factor, so they don't care. I mean, people don't really care about the poor or the struggling. So what kind of compromises are we going to have to make in the name of progress? Is what's being done truly for the better? What can we do? Time is now for you to choose. How will you change over the run? Learn more.